Every brother was caught in the crossfire Hello everyone, Jason Lee back here again and today the official Suicide Squad 2 roster for the Suicide Squad has now been announced by James Gunn himself in an interview lately, a few days ago. I'm late on it, I know. Um, so, we got here the roster, it includes like four or five new team members that will be replacing Katana, Captain Boomerang, Killer Croc, and El Diablo. I, we thought that some of these guys will be coming back in a photo. Not even Rick Flagg is going to show up, I think. Or I think he might He might be recast. We don't know. It's not official. We'll just see what it, what happens. But here is the roster for the villains so far. Villains include Rat Catcher, Peacemaker, King Shark, Polka Dot Man. <laughs> These will be the new guys that will be like part of the core group of the Suicide Squad. I didn't know anything about these guys. I think Peacemaker is actually sort of an anti-hero. So they might do like something with El Diablo again. Where he's like want to help people. And not be like a super villain. I don't, I don't know. I don't know even anything about these characters. Which I like. Because I want to go into the movie. See what these characters are all about. And hopefully get engaged with them. So they can make me want to read some of their stories in the DC comics. King, I think the most popular one is King Shark because he was in the animated movie and I'm mean, Batman Arkham, Soul on Arkham. He was like one of the main groups in that movie and I love him and he's really cool. So I'm interested to see what he does here. He was supposed to be in the first movie but I guess for some reason that he did not work, and they thought Killer Croc could, was, he could have been a better use, which I could understand, but King Shark is a really cool character in my opinion, and I'm interested to see what they do with him, and hopefully they give him layers, unlike Killer Croc in the last movie, which he did not have much layers to his character. I hope that we are able to dig deep into his character's past and what drove him to be who he is. But we get returning members also, not like everybody's replaced. Deadshot and Harley Quinn will be back in the main spotlight once again and uh, Idris Elba will be playing Deadshot. Amanda Waller is going to be once again played by Viola Davis so that's a win. I can't wait to see what they do with her. So overall, good news all around. Seems like we have an official roster now. We just gotta know when the script will be done. And hopefully it's not too early, unlike the last time. They need to take time on their script. And hopefully James Gunn has done, had been taking his time writing the movie. And we know how great of a writer he is. He did a fantastic job in Guardians 2, which I think it is best writing ever. In fact, some of the best writing I have ever seen, I have ever seen in a movie. So hopefully he brings some new flavors to this movie and to these characters to get us all engaged in all of them, which is something he did really well in his Guardians films. So excited. I just hope that Warner Brothers don't doesn't come in and cut things out for no reason because we know James Gunn is better than that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. So heaven if you sent us down, so we can build a playground.